Hi hey guys, today I will show you my chain drive calculator, how it works and about the equations and formulas I have used in my application. Here there is a textbook called Kurmi, a textbook of machine design by Kurmi. It is an Indian standard book. It is all about it is the data all the formulas which are used in my application are from this textbook and i will show you the formulas on the textbook and the calculations on my uh, chain drive calculator application Then here there are a varieties of calculations in chain drive. So starting from here, this is how calculate P. P means that pitch of what a chain. From here, uh, pitch can be calculated as D sine theta over two. Now let us import the values of D and theta and then calculate here we circle diameter of chain pocket or D let us input a value about 25 and also mm, we have to uh, input the value of T here you see T uh, T means uh, the number of T's on the sprocket let's see around 5 here the formula says that P which is equal to D times sine into 660 degree over 2T which is equal to D sine 180 degree over T. So we can input the value of D or the circle diameter of the sprocket as well as the value of T or number of T's on the sprocket. Now we can click the button calculate P. So the P circle diameter of a sprocket is around 24.79 this is why we imp uh, we enter the values uh, are very smaller so the pitch uh, of the chain also becomes smaller also also d which is equal to p times cosec 180 over t here we can calculate also the value of d if the pitch of a chain is given let let the value of pitch of a chain is 2 mm and the d is unknown then we have to calculate you can calculate the value of d when we see this when the pitch of a chain is 2 mm and when the number of this on a pitch is 5 so d becomes negative 2.017 why this value becomes uh, Cos it means that one over sine. So the calculation becomes z. Now also uh, here the sprocket outside diameter D not for that five operation is given but also here we calculate the pitch circle diameter of a sprocket but we can also calculate the outermost diameter of what the sprocket the outermost diameter of the sprocket which is equal to D or P circle diameter plus 0 0.8 times D1. D1 means the diameter of the chair roller. We have also this value. We can enter the value here. D1, let's take 5 millimeter and the P circle diameter of a sprocket becomes 150 millimeter. 150 millimeter, then we can calculate D naught. D naught becomes 154 millimeter so we can calculate what the outermost diameter of what is the sprocket yeah. here to calculate the biggest ratio of um, a chain drive here there are two types of formulas the first one is by using the speed or rpm of chain drive the driver and the driven chains and also by using the number of these name and one of course to speed or rotation of smaller sprocket in our pain and to speed of rotation of larger sprocket in our pain t1 
number of sprocket on smaller sprocket and c2 number of these on what the larger sprocket now here calc brn this button indicates the velocity ratio by using speed of rotation on rpm and this button is for velocity ratio by using the number of these of sprocketes we can see each by one by for example for n1 we can enter 100 1200 and here let's take 600 for n1 let's take 32 and for here let's take 12 uh, here 32 and let's take here 12 so by using the number of revolution or speed of rotation of the sprocketers we can calculate the vrn here the velocity ratio of h and drive by using the speed of rotation becomes 2 and the velocity ratio of a chain drive by using number of these becomes 2.6 because here the values are different 2 and 2.66 are, are different here is because we give the value randomly when you input the exact values the velocity ratio by using the speed of rotation and by using number of these for the same uh, chain drive systems becomes the value becomes what similar here i will simply show how can how you can calculate or you can design your chain drive system by using my application so we already calculated the velocity ratio here there is one a velocity calculation the average velocity of a chain drive is given by b which is equals to pi d over 60 d p circle diameter of the sprocket in meters and p pitch of the chain in meters here you have to remember the input values are in what meters in meters so uh, here I already give you by millimeter but in this area the value should be what in meters I already mm, convert these millimeters into meters in the calculation system now let us see the values let's take the value of d 180 millimeter and the value of n uh, where n here the value of n the value of n around 1200 millimeter so now i would like to calculate what v do you see the value becomes 9.425 what 9.425 meter per second this is the value so when you calculate the velocity you have to input the value of d here and the value of n in in the place where n1 is used in one is it so we can calculate the velocity of the chain drive now we going to see how the length of a chain can be calculated by using this calculator here the length of a chain can be equal to the product of a number of chain links k and the pitch of a chain p here there are many links in a chain drive so the sum of these all chain links and there are also pitches or chain pitches on that chain drive the total length of the chain becomes the product of this sum of links and what that of pitch so l which is equal to k times p here in this application we have to check whether it can calculate the length of a chain or not p 
as we discussed earlier we can enter the value here let's take around five and the other is what k the number of chain links let's see there are uh, 55 links in each end drive then calculate l then the total links of h n becomes 275 millimeters millimeters so the calculator or the application is capable to calculate the links of h n here also the number of chain links may be obtained from the following equi expressions so the number of chain links here we enter the value of k randomly but it can be obtained by calculations here there are what the various calculations k which is equal to t1 plus t2 over 2 plus 2x over p plus t2 minus t1 over 2 pi square over p over x here x is center distance uh, t1 and t2 are number of digits on the smaller sprocket and the larger sprocket and also p is pitch of not h and drive let's give the values random and you can check whether it calculated the value of k or not here the pitch is there is 5 q1 q2 t2 32 uh, and the other is what x the value of x let's take x around 100 millimeters uh, t1 t2 x P. Now we can calculate the value of what k. Yes. So, depending on our, our data we have entered into the calculator, the number of chain links becomes 62.5. It is around 63 links in a chain value. So, by calculating the value of k, we can also calculate l. We can also calculate what the links of z chain value. So we can say calculate. By using this value, the link of HN is changed into 312.535 millimeters. Also, we can calculate the center distance in this calculator. In this calculator, we can also calculate the center distance of HN drive. Here, we can input the values of K, P, T1, T2. Then, we can calculate what? x let us clear this value then the value of k is around 65 let's take 65 l it is already here the other is p let's enter p around 6 then 22 we can use these values here and then we can calculate what the value of x is x here x do you see the center distance becomes 194 24.07 millimeters in designing mechanical components factor of safety is a mandatory thing we have to consider factor of safety for all mechanical components also in the same thing in car in designing chain drivers we have to consider factor of safety here in general this factor of safety is the ratio of the breaking strings of a chain to the total load on the driving side of the chain. So when calculating factor of safety, factor of safety is defined as the ratio of breaking strings WB of a chain to the total load on the driving side of what? H and R W. Here in our calculator, we have to input the values in W P and what W. Here there is what W or the total load on the driving chain. Let's see hundred. Uh, let's enter the value one thousand and the breaking string is of H N. The breaking string is of H N. Let's take into three thousand. Three thousand. Then we have to click type N. Then the value or the factor of safety for this chain drive system becomes 3. So the value becomes 3.
So, well, this calculator can calculate the factor of safety as well. Here, uh, we have to consider the, the total look. The total look or total tension on the driving side of HN is the sum of tangential driving force FT, centrifugal tensions in the chain FSN, the tension in the chain due to sagging. So this total load is the sum of the three totals. Here there are different calculations for each of five forces. For example, for tangential driving forces of FT can be calculated as it is the ratio of power transmitted in watts divided by what the speed of change in meter per second. So here there is a speed of change in meter per second and also there is what a power let's input the value let's take five thousand watts or five kilowatts take the value then click calculate FT. As we discussed earlier, this FT or tangential, the tangential driving force is the ratio of power transmitted in watts to speed of change. Then click this button. Here, the tangential driving force becomes 560.50 newton. Also, the centrifugal, the centrifugal tension in chains can be calculated as MVS. M means, means that mass of the chain in kilogram per meter length and V becomes a speed of what the chain. Now we can enter the values on here mass of chain per unit length per unit length. Let's let this enter six six kilogram per meter. E, it is an assumption, so let's input 6 kg per meter length and the speed becomes 9.45. Then calculate FC. Then the centrifugal tension in the chain or FC becomes this value. The other and the third is what FS or tension in the chain due to sagging. This is calculated as k times mg times x where k means a constant which takes into account the arrangement of chain drives it is 2 to 6 when the center line of the chain is inclined to the horizontal at an angle of less than 40 degree and 1 to 1.5 when the center line of the chain is inclined to horizontal at an angle greater than 40 degree so, we can calculate FS by entering the values for it. For example, mg is equal to 4 kg per unit meter is the value of k by entering, for example, uh, 4 and uh, the other x, the value of x uh, here, the value of x of the single distance 150 millimeter is the and calculate fs yeah the problem is solved so we can calculate the tension in the sagging size as follows and after here we can calculate what w as we said earlier w is the total load on the driving chain mm, it is the sum of or the sum of the load in the tangential driving force the centrifugal tension in the chain and also tension in the cycling cell then by entering the value for this let's take 1350 newton and fc 1000 newton and here is fs then we can click calculate so the value becomes these are these are some of the calculations in these are some of the calculations in chain drive system. So uh, we are going to see the characteristics of roller chains. Here there is a standard table based on 
IS 2403 FN 1991 of Indian Standard. Now, there is ISO chain members of standard ISO codes, for example, 05B, 06B, 08B. On this ISO standard, there is what a pitch roller diameter width is between inner plates transverse pitch and also the braking load now when in a chain is simplex the braking load is different from a chain with duplex and triplex so in this application this table is summarized in a simple way in this calculator the only thing we do is selecting the iso chain number and the types of roller chain it may be what simply case duplex duplex first uh, let us see whether it selects the exact value of the table or not then select the iso chain number for example 05b and then select the type of roller chain for example simplex chain then next we have to click the cal characteristics of chain so the values the values of the pitch the width is between inner plate the roller diameter d1 and the transfer speed and the breaking mode will be automatically displayed here let us see the the value is 405B is here ISO chain number 05B pitch 8.00 roller diameter or D1 5.00 here uh, then width is between inner plates or D1 3.00 here do you see and the transfer speed is 5.64 Point six four here and the breaking load for a simplex. See the simplex is four point four here. When we change this into duplex, the transverse and uh, the breaking load will be changed. The other values are remain the same or constant. When we change this into triplex, the breaking load will be changed automatically and the other values remain constant. These are some of the characteristics of Roller chain based on Indian standard 2403 FM as The other is earlier we have calculated factor of safety by calculating the breaking load by dividing breaking load to the total load. Also, the factor of safety for a roller chain uh, for chain drives can be summarize it on this table. Here there are uh, some parameters. The parameters are type of chains, it may be push roller chain or silent chain, pitch of chain or the gap or um, the gaps of the chain, pitch of the chain, the other is speed of the sprocket pin in RP. Here these are the parameters. Here in this table, calculator we have to we must select type of chains, it may be bush roller or what? Silent chain. Let us select bush roller and the pitch of chain, the value of pitch. The value of the, uh, the, value of the pitch for the chain drive may be 12 to 15, 22 to 25, 30 to 35, and extra. Let's select this and a speed of the sprocket in RPM. Let's select 50, then we have to click calculate factor of safety better. Here the factor of safety becomes select. Now we can check from the table. Type of chain drive, push roller here, then pitch of chain, 12 to 5, then speed, this is what called 50. We have enter the value here and the factor of safety becomes select. Then when we change this into Set it here the value becomes changed. It's 
32, 35, the value is 7. When you change this, this big into 100, the factor of 60 also what? Then big into 8.55. When this value into 2000, the value will not be displayed because this table cannot show the factor of 30 at an RPM of 2000. So, let's see, at 1200, 1200 here, yeah, and you see the value becomes 19.5 at 1200, at 1600 and 2000, there is no factor of 30 value, so the software also cannot calculate the values. These are uh, some of the introductory parts of my application uh, chain drive calculator. Here, there are also other calculations. Here, also, there are other calculations you have to check, then click 